Yo, 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 it's ODB. It's our lifestyle podcast, a.k.a. OLP. Thanks so much for coming back, checking us out. Please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. But, hey, here we go. We're coming out the gate in 2021. And, uh, man, it's going to be a great year. We're going to dive right into issue number 22. So we just did um, lucky number 21. This is issue number 22 of Mini Trucking Magazine. It's the last one of 92, which is November 92. Some interesting facts, great show coverage for some uh, famed shows in this um, issue. So let's jump right in. And uh, as we do jump in, I want to let everyone know that this is brought to you by our family at Custom Car Show Productions, which includes their flagship event, Scraping the Coast. This is the last weekend in June which leads into basically July 4th weekend down in Biloxi. We'd hope to um, you know see you come out if you're from out of town, fly in. It's a fantastic event, a big indoor area. Of course, lots of outdoors, pretty much takes over the entire city. It's the 19th annual Scraping the Coast this June. And of course, they've got three other events with more coming. So here you go, you basically have November 9 Deuce, and uh, really cool cover. Off the top of my head, I want to say this is the only Truck Sarosa on the cover. Um, that's basically from going through a bunch of issues and uh, trying to remember here. But it's a really classic, and um, check out the wheels, Ultra. And um, I think the number one interesting fact about this is we're still by monthly. Um, that's gonna, that's not going to change until 94, but believe it or not, this is Steve Stillwell's only credited cover for mini trucking magazine. You heard that right. Now, of course he shot plenty for trucking. He's the editor of mini trucking at this point still. And of course, uh, he went over to street trucks, uh, later in the late nineties with Brian McCormick and Courtney Hallowell, uh, rest in peace to Courtney, but let's jump right into this issue. You got the same inside kind of cover, Neon Knights. Prime Wheels ad. Kind of see the breakdown there again. Very similar, pretty much probably the same as the last issue. Uh, this one should come out a little bit more clear. I had it kind of on the wider angle lens. I tried a couple different things with the last uh, flip through and I re-recorded it with kind of a wider angle lens, but it's a little bit more clear if I do it like this. And I did try also on a tripod, but I kind of find even though I'm holding this, um, it's just a little bit easier to, to kind of get in and show uh, what I'm talking about here. So I mentioned there, awesome show coverage. You got the sixth annual Cal Truck Jamboree, 20,000 enthusiasts, of course, in SoCal, Truck and Showtime, Springfield, Missouri, Neon lights, which was uh, huge in the day. And then, of course, you see there our fearless leader, Steve Stillwell. It's Godfather Customs Project Mazda together with model Cheryl Davis. So uh, pretty cool. A little bit of insight there, typically, in the uh, TOC or Table of Contents. So uh, this guy, Bruce, I mentioned uh, he did a lot in the last issue. You see his name there in the credits. And, um, of course, he's got the editorial there. Plenty of good content and uh, super excited. The last um, flip through I mentioned, I do have issue number two. That should be here within a day or so. And uh, with that being said, I will, um, I'm going to go back and do the flip through on it. That will mean that we've got every issue so far up to 22, which this is issue 22. Uh, it's pretty cool. Never thought I would own all of these. So uh, much love to uh, everyone that's helped out, including our homie Bow to NC out in Orlando. Good dude. I know the um, the NC fam, they were all together, a lot of those guys up in uh, Tennessee. Randy was up there, Bow to NC on Instagram. We've had him on the podcast. He owns a ton of awesome trucks, including Tuck Lugs. 
And uh, if you went back on the podcast, you would have heard us, uh, you know, you would have heard that episode. Here you go, Mike Shartsis. We've had him on as well. Super clean truck. Check it out. So kind of part of that glow from below tech article. Uh, this one I want to say had five features in it, if I remember correctly. Peaches and cream. Super freaking clean truck. Love the colors. Love the interior. Topper. I don't even mind the shields right there. Uh, I know on one of the recent uh, flip throughs, I kind of mentioned I wasn't a huge fan of them, but when they're not super dark, I don't think it looks too bad. Drophobia, is that is that what it says? Uh, so pretty cool stuff. And then the tag says number two dash LO on this one. Peaches and cream. Still in drop coils, KYB, gas shocks, American Eagle 15 by 8s Of course, rolling 15s. That was, um, you, you were considered to have big wheels from what everyone tells me back in the day. Uh, 14s were super popular. And then, um, check that out. And, uh, you know, 15s were all the rage. Of course, 16s came into the mix and then... Uh, 17s. I remember in one of the DeBrat songs uh, when she says rolling on, rolling on 17s, I think is what they say. So Splash Bash 92. Don't know a lot about this show. I'm sure some of the uh, viewers here could kind of chime in. Now, what I'm assuming is JP Greaves is Joe Greaves. Uh, Joe is still out there, man shooting coverage uh, all up and down the East Coast. Really good guy. And if you think about this, November of nine deuce, I mean, he's been doing it a long, long time. He uh, served his country and uh, he's been out there shooting show coverage, features, covers, you name it, for a long, long time. Shout out to Joe Greaves. Uh, he shot my truck, uh, a feature that had uh, didn't run, but he also shot the chassis over at Jimmy's Run and Customs. Uh, that ran with the famous uh, table of contents photo. And just a real good guy overall. Old school. Still doing the damn thing. So you can see the tech article there. Slammer time. So Bruce is getting his hands dirty with this tech article, so to speak. Uh, make sure you follow us via your favorite podcast app. Uh, I often hear people say, what's a podcast? Uh, podcasts have grown by leaps and bounds the last five and a half years since Mike and I have been doing ours. There's Greg Turnage's 89 Ford Ranger. But um, pretty much any topic you can think of from everything from Back to the Future to movie site locations to mini trucks to fishing, I'm sure, Anything you can think of, there's people out there that are enthusiasts and they're recording and they're uploading content. Uh, typically, every podcast out there is going to be free unless they're, you know, kind of special circumstance. But uh, if you go on your Apple phone to the pre-installed podcast app, it's a purple app if you've never used it. Just search OLP. You should see our famous River Run artwork pop up. Uh, go ahead and stream, or if you just subscribe, your phone will automatically download new episodes on Wi-Fi every Friday when we post those. If you are a subscriber to the podcast, thank you. If you haven't already, go into the Apple Podcast app and leave a rating. Tap on Library, scroll all the way down. Or tap on Library, select OLP, scroll all the way down, pretty far down. And then tap the five stars, leave a, a review if you'd like, mention your name or Instagram name or how you found us. We'll shout you out on one of the upcoming episodes. So here you got Showtime 92, Springfield, Missouri, as I mentioned in the uh, beginning of the video there. Trucking and Mini Trucking Magazine, Showtime. So you've seen those ads in the recent issues and it kind of ties together the fact that they did host those events, and of course, they were there to shoot coverage, which gives them content for the magazine. It gives them an opportunity to also uh, shoot features, meet new people, 
you know, the routine. Check that out. Action video. I wonder what kind of videos they were selling. Kicking it old school here. I don't know that you'd see this at a mini truck show. Mikey Jones, feature actor in the TV program Home Improvement, hosted the exciting stunt show. <laughs> I just saw a pretty cool um, fun fact I did not know about Home Alone watching one of my favorite uh, YouTube channels, uh, Beyond the Backlot. And they just did a really cool episode on Groundhog Day. Actually, an amazing episode. I left a comment on it, and um, the gentleman that they interviewed from Groundhog Day mentioned that he had auditioned and he was accepted for Home Improvement. Check it out. It's pretty cool if you like movie stuff beyond the back lot. Just a shameless plug. Seem like good people. Mazda Rosa. And what's pretty cool is, um, I don't know how, I mean, there were trucks back in the day with the trucks of Rosa. I don't know how popular... You know, thinking back that they really were, I mean, obviously like this, I mean, to me, is, is a killer mini. But you see there, Bill Stillwell, aka Steve Stillwell, um, photo credit. What I think is interesting is this past year, you know, we got a chance to meet the, what we call the Trucks Arosa crew. Uh, and then you can see here is Hal Johnson. Real quick, I wanted to mention this. When we had Bill Hancock on recently... I was not aware, uh, Bill had mentioned, we were talking about his son, uh, who left us, you know, very, you know, left this world at a very young age. Um, he mentioned that Hal Johnson had passed away, and I did not know that Hal, of course, of Godfather, which you saw there in the uh, table of contents. This was uh, basically, my understanding, this was the truck that he owned. But going back to what I was saying uh, with Trucks Arosa, what was pretty cool is we got a chance to meet some of these guys like Mark uh, Kotzwitz and, and so on. Uh, one of a couple of the old school guys, Madu is one old school mini trucker from South Florida. Like some of these guys kind of, the trucks are roasted trucks. Uh, there's a guy, Ben Miller too. The, these trucks fell into their hands kind of. Um, I think Ben may have had his a little bit longer. And uh, no, it's, it's sorry, it's, it's Bill. Because uh, I think he goes by William. But uh, we had them on when we did our audio at Southern Tradition, which is a killer show we're going to be going to in July up in Canton, Georgia. Had been through that area a whole bunch, um, you know, just going to shows and things like driving, you know, up and down the interstate. Never really had spent time there, but really, really cool, nice, beautiful city. Really awesome showgrounds will be up there. But that's where we did some audio with uh, the guys that we refer to as the Truck Sarosa crew couple of the guys brought their trucks out, of course, uh, to scraping the coast. They had the old school mini trucking section, which was pretty awesome, was a real big hit. And uh, I think Greg's going to do that again this year. So checkered past. Again, you can see Bruce getting credit here. One trick, Northern California Mini. California mini. Uh, what I thought was cool with this one is um, it's shot on grass here. It looks like it's uh, Trevor's 88 uh, hard body from Sacktown, a.k.a. Sacramento. You see Bruce shot it. But they also, uh, the, the owner took a wheel off, which I thought was cool for the feature. You know, that that's kind of showing the detail of the frame and control arms and chrome shocks and stuff. Um, live life topless. Uh, it's one of my little sayings I always use. I've got that Instagram account. I uh, haven't had a chance to post a lot to it, but going to try to kind of curate some of these rides, uh, just like our homie Josh Ellis, you know, with his, the looks, the look that kills. And um, he had that thing out at Southern Tradition. He had it at a lot of shows last year, old school Cal Concepts paint. Ground attack, again, live life topless here. Love seeing these minis that are topless. And uh, some, of course, are roadsters, full-time roadsters. Others have the tops that go back on them. Get the Fast Eddie's ad. All wound up. Fred Walker. Old school mini. And um, a lot of times they would mention here... And I don't know if it was a typo on why they didn't put it in there or if the owner didn't fill out what year it was and they're just like, well, let's just not put it in there. 
But uh, going through every issue, kind of looking at what year trucks were featured. I mean, tell me that's not sick, the whole front end coming off. Um, it's pretty cool to see what, you know, what year truck uh, was the most popular on the cover. You know, what make and models were featured the most. And uh, as I mentioned in the last episode, we're going to actually kind of really dive into that this year. Chroming it right. So there's still um, little things you'll see on different TV shows that you'll watch. I think Bitchin' Rides, they even did one where they went to Ogden, which is who does a lot of their chrome plating. And it's still kind of intriguing to people, the process on how they strip it down and do the multiple uh, platings. I think copper is the last uh, that they do before the chrome. I'm not an expert in it, but I know uh, all of the, most of the chrome that I've ever had done, not all of it, but a lot of it has been done in advanced plating up in Tennessee. They had that big fire back in 2019. And uh, they did my uh, Lincoln chrome bumper recently. The car sitting behind me. My opinion, best in the business. So there you can see the 89 year, the designation there. Uh, cool mini, very... Um, kind of era era specific back when uh, you could just pop some pieces off have the homie chrome them even looks like the dash is kind of that either that splatter type or um like a flex stone type i don't know if it just came right out of the can like that but back in the day man you just do a couple things to your ride jump in it cruising on the strip on friday saturday night those were the days so world's greatest event number eight, this is one where, um, this is kind of a little prelude because the next issue is January 93. I don't want to give it away, but right there is a truck that you often hear people say it changed our lives, whether it just be the cover, um, whether it just be the look, the colors, the, the time period, you know, early 93, maybe you're a certain grade that you kind of remember seeing how low that truck was and you just go, man. You know, this is what I want to do. But we've had Pat on the podcast. We featured this amazing truck, Ballistic, several times on uh, pieces of our uh, merchandise, including skate decks. Uh, and you can see those at ourlifestylepodcast.com. Ourlifestylepodcast.com. Uh, there might be some leftover stuff out there. But uh, big ups to Ballistic, a.k.a. Pat Nichols' amazing truck. We'll be talking about that one here more in the next flip through. Cal Truck Jam, also known as California Truck Jam Jamboree. Kind of shortened to Cal Truck Jam really is, is how everybody referred to it, it seemed like. They eventually uh, broke off and had uh, two different events. I think they even had another event that I mentioned um, that might have been more lifted vehicles and stuff. But basically two main events that... Most of us recall. I've got some exclusive coverage, some video that I'll be sharing of this here on YouTube in the near future. You won't believe some of the some of the vehicles that were there. Circa, I'd say 98, 99. It's pretty cool. Wish I wish more of us had video cameras and you know, access to record that stuff back then because there's a lot of kind of lost history in terms of the uh, booths and, and some of the vehicles that were there. So you got Viper. Again, I know I always say this, how many people even get alarms these days or hands-free kits installed? I mean, a lot of the new cars just have all that stuff. So, it's a wrap. November 9, Deuce, Volume 6, Number 6. Don't even worry about the numbering system. Just know this is issue number 22. Rest in peace, Hal from Godfather Customs. So, as I mentioned, it's a wrap. Make sure, please, you check us out via your favorite podcast app. Want to give a huge shout-out to Greg and the entire Custom Car Show Productions team. As I mentioned, of course, Scraping the Coast is coming up. 
in June, but mid March is an uh, event called Orange Beach Invasion. You can find it on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, look it up if you're up north, like some of our friends are, and you're looking to come down for spring break. It's at the Wharf, right there in Orange Beach, Alabama. It's an amazing venue. One of our favorite shows of the year will be. Um, I'll be down there kind of for an extended weekend. So we're going to roll out early Friday. Come check us out. Uh, come by, slap hands, uh, you know, chop it up, talk some old stories. But most importantly, it's free uh, free spectators. So come on down to Orange Beach, Alabama. It's the kind of the 12th through the 15th, right in that range, that weekend in March. Come check it out. ODB, thanks for rocking with us. Thanks to Greg and everyone at Custom Car Show Productions, including Scraping the Coast. This has been Mini Trucking, November 92, flip through. We got you. Peace.